Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing of Stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Miros Smart Wi-Fi LED Bulb. And this is a color changing bulb, uh, which you can use an app on your phone to control. And I'm not entirely sure at this point how much control that allows, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. The package only contains light bulbs and then one tiny little piece of paper telling you how to install the app and get it set up on your phone. It's only a three step process. It's pretty simple looking, but we're going to go through it together and we're going to get this thing set up, do some testing, and it's going to be a pretty cool addition to my uh, little desk setup here. A little bit of extra light, some cool features for my little set slash gaming station here. So at this point, let's go ahead and go over some specs and then we'll start moving on and getting this thing set up. So this is specifically the MSL120 version from them. They have three different versions uh, as far as I can tell based on the box. This light is supposed to be 800 lumens. It has an estimated yearly cost of $1.08 based on three hours of use per day at 11 cents per kilowatt hour and is also supposed to last for 22.8 years using only three hours a day and it's supposed to use nine watts of energy. So at this point, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the instruction manual, one piece of paper, and we'll go ahead and start the process. Okay, so according to our quick install instructions, the first thing to do is download the Miros app. And this is in the Google Play Store, App Store for Apple, and also on Amazon. So you can scan the QR code, which I'm sure will take you somewhere here, or you can just look up Miros and it'll take you right there. And then all you have to do is press the install button and let this do its part. And then once this is downloaded, we will move on to phase two. Okay, so phase two is also pretty easy. All you have to do is put the light bulb into a lamp, whatever lamp you would like to have this customized light bulb in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and that completes phase two. So now we will move on to phase three. Okay, so now we're doing phase three and that is to go ahead and open the app. And I guess you have to sign up, it appears. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll come back. Okay, so I just created my account and then the first thing it wants to do is enable location service so it can know what time zone you're in. and you just follow the prompts on the screen so install now we got a new device and it looks like we can go through our selection here and they have all sorts of different stuff but we have the smart bulb okay let's see first make sure the power is off on the light you are replacing swap the bulb so we did that Metal lampshades may degrade your smart bulb's performance, and so ours isn't a metal lampshade, but uh, when I'm using it, I expect I'll be fairly close for the most part. So, click next. Power on the light and wait about five seconds until the LED bulb. Power on the light, wait for about five seconds until the LED bulb to blink three times. So I think this is slightly just misconstrued. Um, power on the light, wait about five seconds until the LED bulb blinks three times. Okay, so there's our translation. Okay, I'm gonna power on the bulb. Okay, and there were our three blinks. Reset on the smartphone. Okay, and then I'll press next. And it's gonna try to connect to the device. K, 
Okay, and we'll call this lamp the gaming lamp. More FPS. Okay, choose the icon to help you identify what your device is connected to. Okay, so we'll say this guy, kind of like a desk lamp. Then you have to join your home Wi-Fi network. So let me pause the video. I'll enter in my information and we'll come right back. Okay, just enter that in and now it's finishing up your device's configuration and adding it to your home network. This may take a few minutes. So our light is right now currently changing colors through red, blue, green, and white. And we are almost finished here. Okay, your device is successfully installed. Enjoy your smart home life with Miras. And we'll click done. Okay, so as far as I know, the bulb is all set up. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So let's see if we okay so we can turn it on and off there let's see I'll bring this thing a little closer if I can okay so we can turn the lamp on and off with the touch of a button let's see what else so we can we press the pencil it looks like it gives us all sorts of options you go RGB Or just okay, I see we can do white and then it looks like we can adjust the temperature of the light. Make it more yellow, make it more white. And then we have RGB. So you can make it red and anything in between. Doesn't appear that this tracks super well for me that may just be my phone more than the app but so that's pretty cool I mean that's pretty simple easy to do oh, and then you can also adjust how much light output there is which that's pretty nice too so you can really set that dark gaming mood so it's not blinding me but still provides a nice little hue or what do we got here? Okay, so we can go hard, hard set colors too. Just pick whatever color you want. Tap the icon. So that's pretty cool. That's easy to use. Let's turn that off and let's go back here. See what else we can set up. A scene allows you to group your Mira smart devices as you wish and control them simply by one tap. You don't have any scenes yet? Well, we'll have to explore scenes later. A routine. So this is pretty cool. So if you want it to be able to, your light to turn on or off at a certain time or something like that, you can set that up. And then what do you have? You have your, I guess your profile where you can update the firmware and set it up with Google Assistant or Amazon. But let's check out the scheduling here so press this guy okay so we have uh, on and off for schedule we set a gaming lamp schedule I'd like to turn it on at let's see 4.42 p.m. I'll just name this test. Hey, and look at that, turned on. So then we can have it turn off. 
we'll go 4.43 p.m. And then you can turn them on and off as needed. That's a pretty nice feature as well. So for example, if you're not going to be there or if for whatever reason you're not going to be using it at a time where you normally would, you can just click it off and it won't turn on. So let's see if it, when it hits 4.43, boom, there it goes, turns right off. So that's pretty cool. I really like this feature. Uh, you can also use this as a security feature as well, which I... Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. In case you're out of town or something, you can always schedule lights to turn on and off throughout your house, uh, even when you're not there. And I'm assuming based on this app, even if you're not there, you could turn this on remotely, which is pretty nice. Or even if you're coming home late and it's dark inside, you can have this on one of your lamps near the door and boom, just turn it right on and you have nice light. So I think that about covers it for this Miros lamp, uh, or I think that about covers it for this Miros light bulb. Uh, so far I am very pleased with it. I think it's really neat and I look forward to continued use of it, but it functions right out of the box. It was a quick and easy setup. And uh, I think I'm gonna try some more of these Miros products out and I'll show you guys along the way. And we'll just test out a few different things and just can see how it adds up when it's all working together. So. At this point in time, I definitely would say that if you're looking for a smart light bulb, this is definitely a good option. It works well, user intuitive, and uh, yeah, it just seems to be uh, pretty legit for a good price too, which I really like. So I will include links to that down below. So I also have a link to my Twitter page down there if you guys want to check that out. Every once in a while I share stuff on there. And uh, you guys should definitely check this out if this is what you're, something you're looking for. I think this is a good option. So. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button if you liked it, and check out Miros and their affordable stuff, which is kind of what drew me to them in the first place. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.